can take a look around Indian Rocks Beach and see that it is very different from other communities around. Indian Rocks Beach prides itself on preserving the best of the past. The, the island, there was really nothing here in the, in the 20s. I mean, there were just a mile without any cottages. So it really wasn't until after World War II that people started building cottages, and mostly people from Tampa, and this was the second home. Here is a, a place that you can time travel back to the 1950s and feel what it was like. Indian Rocks Beach uniquely has managed to maintain a small town character. And there's a strong local desire to protect and retain that character. Our plain air cottage artist took the plight and instead of tearing down those old homes to create a sense of what yesteryear was like and refurbish those homes back to the way they are today. Not only is the artwork incredible, but the story and the advocacy uh, is, is, is a story in and of itself. If you've probably seen them, but they wear these glorious dresses and they're very free spirits and they're basically our Hollywood. My name is Helen Tilston, and I was born in Ireland and have been painting since I was young. Mary Rose Holmes. I'm one of the plein air cottage artists and enjoyed art all through my childhood and up through college. We moved here approximately 22 years ago. We came only for one night and we never left. And then met Mary Rose um, about 19, 18, 19 years ago. So we met at a course, an art course, and just got along famously. It was life drawing, and we both agreed we loved painting outdoors. So we took our easels outdoors and great camaraderie and painting daily. We'll paint in the morning, we'll come in and have lunch, go back out because of the shadows. We love the shadows in the late morning, great shadows in the late afternoon. Plein air painting is uh, painting in situ or on location. Plein air is painting outside, you see the light, you see the shadows so much better. If you paint from inside, you're usually painting from a photograph. And a photograph makes the painting flat. You don't see around the tree, you don't see around the cottage. Once you paint outdoors, it's very difficult to go back to the studio because there's reflected light when you're outdoors. You're aware of the sights, the sounds, the smell, the mood, and I think as an artist, you put that into the painting. When you take a look at some of these works, you can't help but look at the beauty of it. There's color in here that is amazing. There's the scenery, there's the, the architecture, there's the, the plants. It's absolutely stunning. And then when you actually see it in person, you're like, oh, this is just amazing. We love them. They really are our royalty. Many paintings capture my sight but not all capture my heart. And we only paint um, originals. We do not duplicate our work. So then when the painting goes on to you, some of you is also included in that oil painting. We are often approached while painting and we love it. We can paint and talk at the same time. And it's really neat because as we're painting, they are noticing these wonderful cottages. Also, they're noticing our paintings, and a lot of times they buy them right off the easel. They approach us because they're curious. It is not often that people see plein air painters. So people are quite surprised when they see us, and some say we're like the dolphins. It's going to be a good day if they see us out painting because it's a rare day that you see dolphins too. We adore them. They are our treasures. They really connected with the cottages. I think the plein air artists have had a tremendous impact in raising general public awareness, uh, not just in Indian Rocks Beach, but in the surrounding area, about the nature of the cottages and the fact that they're threatened. What started all this was the fact that developers were starting to tear down cottages and old places along here. Places that have been ruined and have been destroyed forever by the large concrete condominium buildings. Great Wall of Florida. Just wall-to-wall -wall condominiums. And so they wanted to recognize the need to, to keep those places. 
and so they've painted a lot of them. I think by preserving some of these beautiful cottages um, and, and allowing future generations to see what old Florida really was and how beautiful and quaint and just absolutely drop-dead gorgeous old Florida was. We wanted to capture the essence of the cottages, the beauty of these little cottages, just get their memory on a canvas. Each uh, cottage that was demolished and each condo that went up got a variant. So City Hall had to, and planning and zoning had to give out a variant. So we were telling people as we painted, they said, why are they pulling down this cottage? Well, you could do something about it if you went up to City Hall and objected to the variances. And people started to do that. But to be able to encourage others to fix them up and rehab them and preserve them and keep them so that there isn't some big concrete wall that goes up between beautiful Shell Road and the Gulf of Mexico. Once you smash a tree, you can plant another tree. Once you smash a cottage, you'll never get it back. It's gone. I think they've been a great asset as far as letting folks know that, okay, this is something unique to our community and we need to do everything possible to uh, preserve uh, these structures. And can't think of a, a better way to get that message out than through what the planar artists have done.